this video, I'm going to address the most frequently asked question in the Go High Level community. Hey guys, V Coles here from V Clive Online Consultant. The question we're going to be addressing today is Should you be upgrading to the 497 plan when it comes to your sub account creation automation? Right. In this video, I'm going to address exactly that. Um, if you're new here to the channel or you're new here to the platform, if you haven't noticed um, the last year, maybe 12, 16 months ago, Hilo have made change to the Zapier uh, API. So you can't really create a sub account anymore with Zapier. So a lot of people think that you need to be upgrading to the 497 plan. In today's video, I'm going to break that misconception and no, you do not need to be upgrading. So I'm going to be saving you hundreds of dollars every month when it comes to the right subscription. But before I get to the technical part, guys, um, there is a lot of benefits and feature when it comes to the 497 plan. I just do not want to discredit that in this video, right? The 497 plan is very crucial when it comes to selling SaaS, rebuilding client, and many, many more feature. But in this video, I'm going to show you the one free trick that we find out to actually achieve the same outcome when it comes to your sub account automation in high level without having to use Zapier or upgrading it to the go high level 497 plan. So let's just show you guys what I actually mean by this. So I'm logging into my Zapier right now and just have a look at this, right? So let's say um, you have Zapier as the second step and you look at you know, you deciding to choose all, all, all of the event. Now, if your account that hooked onto Zapier is not 497, you can see that the event to create new sub account or new location is no longer there, right? So that's why we're actually going to be switching to this, I think, better app, Peply. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description, guys. Um, and it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. Um, but what it what it allows us to do, let me just show you a step, is that when you go to Peply, and they have many other services, and you come into Peply Connect, right? You click access now, and this is what page, uh, this is the page that you see. Now, how it works with Peply is that it gets triggered by a webhook. So what you want to do is actually create a catch hook at the beginning of your Go High Level End. Let me just actually show you that. So, right, guys, so I'm going to show you in a form of trigger, but you can definitely do that in workflow, right? The reason why we have to still have it on trigger is because this automation is happened in our main account and our everything in our main account is still in trigger and campaign because um, we made it a long time ago and it still works. So it doesn't make sense for us to like change the whole thing. But how it works is that when someone fill in a form, again, this can work with workflow. When someone fill in a form, it's the account automation form. Right, we can, I'll show you that what, what it looked like in a second. Actually, I'll show you now. It looks something like this. It's just a very simple form. And um, we put it into our website. Once our client pay us, was, this is the first thing that we send to them. Right, It's a link, reply slash onboarding. And when someone fill in this form, a lot of things happening. They get tagged, they get you know yada yada. But the main thing here is, is, is this thing, right? To make sure that we actually send the webhook we used to send it to Zapier, as you can already see. We'll also send it to Peply, connect uh, Peply slash workflow, right? So we're going to be executing this webhook, right? Which um, in, in Peply, this is what it looked like. It's actually catch, capture that webhook, right? So it go ahead and actually capture that webhook. And what it allows us to do is that if you look at the action, unlike um, Zapier, it actually allow you to create um, location and the best part is it's free, right? So um, chances are, if you like new and you're a beginner, this 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 uh, this whole workflow doesn't really take that much space. It's like happen like depend on how many time you onboard a client, right? So it's happened like you know five or six a month. So it's you still probably qualify for their free plan, right? So that's why this is so good, guy. So and the best part is I feel like it has actually way more mapping than what Zapier is, is used to have um, because I used to have Zapier. So you obviously map the trust, the, the, the basics like website and all that stuff, right? This is what you map. But what it is allow you to do is actually insert Twilio um, token and Twilio SID if they have their own thing. But if you're on SaaS mode, that's not really relevant. And it also allows us to preload our snapshot right then and there, right? Um, that is what important. So our VA can go in, can just like set everything up under like three to five minutes. And it also allow 
um, you to get a separate mail gun and all that stuff. So this is more like for people who, you know, allow their client to have their own mail gun and, and their Twilio, um, that would make more sense. But we just leave it empty because we don't need it. Our client use our mail gun, our client use our Twilio. It just make it so much easier on, on our end. And I really recommend that you should do that too. So, and like the mapping, you can map URL and all that stuff. We're not gonna go ahead and do that. And the second thing we do is that we map the user. And this is very important. I'm gonna tell you how it works, right? So the way that we do it, right? Um, a lot of agencies do this differently, but I'll tell you how we do it, right? So the way we do it is that we give them a spe like specific password, right? This is like, obviously this is a test user in a test location, so it doesn't really matter. But most of our client, what we do is that we'll send them an email that said, look, your password is a, a fixed password at sharing123 or Apple one two three something like that, right? What what that allow and, and what the video we have after that is teaching them how to change their uh, um their fixed their pre prefix password. So by the time they logged in, right, with this fixed password, they're gonna go ahead and change the password to their own. So um, it's not really fixed anymore, if that makes sense. So let's let's just go ahead and actually test this workflow out. Okay, this is the form. Um, it's very basic honestly is the most basic form um, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my um, other thing and we're gonna write this is gonna be come as the location name so this is a test for YouTube video right and I'm um, just gonna go ahead and write raywhite.com and just you know put the real estate snapshot in there so I mean, like that doesn't really like we we don't carry that information anyway because we only have one niche. Um, when I make this form it was like a long time ago, so that information doesn't get carried anyway, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, oops, relative phone number plus six, Q. right? So the answer you I don't recommend that you even ask here because we only have one snapshot because only the same industry coming in, okay? Right, so what we do with it, with the onboarding, like with the account creation form, they fill in the onboarding form, which have more detail, but we're not gonna go through that in this video. So, hey guys, so wanna show you, this is what the lead, the person who signed up see. Um, they just said, hey, this is your account. Um, this is the link to your account, this is your username, and this is your password. Again, it's a fixed password, there's a video, that um, part of our um, campaign that we tell them how to change their own password. Um, just come back to our agency here, right? So um, this is the sub account get created by this automation. So you go ahead and in like get in there, um, actually switch to sub account. Um, and then, you know, you can see that this sub account have all of the automation ready to go, like a snapshot is loaded with our real estate snapshot. Amazing to see that. And um, yeah, like this is the thing. This is the automation. Once you set this up, you can systemize it and have an SOP where, you know, a VA can come in and literally set this up for like three to five minutes for your client and it's done. It's done and dusted, right? And if you look at the setting and user here, it's also, I, I believe it's also great a new user as well. Let's just check that out. Boom, it create Vico test YouTube and it create a new user and that um, you know it have the same login and the same password that you saw, right? So yeah, all right, cool. So let me know if this is work on your end, guys. Let me know if this is work on your end and um, drop in a comment if you have any other question, you have any challenge and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hey, real quick guy, if you like that video, you probably like this also. Just check this out, okay? This is our onboarding snapshot SOP and the account automation thing is just a snippet of that, right? So um, you can see here um, account automation, the video that I just shown you and also the, um, you know, Papli link is also a part of that, right? We give that away. That's why it's probably one of the best snapshot in the community and on the platform right now because we do more than just go high low. We share you Zapier, ClickUp and all that stuff, right? So if you like that video, I really encourage you to just only like check out our onboarding snapshot video and our onboarding snapshot mind map workflow to actually see if that can be really helped you further. Okay, because that video is just literally one snippet of that. If you have any other question, let us know and drop it in the comment below.
Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.